Hi. Okay, this is going to be a really quick video to just show you how to replace your own watch battery. The reason I'm going to make this video is because a couple of days ago, about a week ago actually, um, I went off to get two watch batteries replaced um, for two different watches. Uh, this one, a Tissot, which I thought I might spend a little bit of extra money on to get it uh, pressure tested so it would be water resistant. And this one, which has a leather strap on it, it's not a watch that I'm going to wear in a swimming pool, it's not a watch that I'm going to wear in the shower. Um, so I just thought I'd just get a straightforward battery swap on this one. The main reason I went to a shop was because I didn't actually know what kind of batteries um, either of the watches required. But quite, quite handily, they gave me on the guarantee card um, that information. So I now know for next time what battery uh, number I need. Because there's literally hundreds of different types of batteries, um, battery watches that you can get. I, know now, I now know which uh, type I need. So, long story short. It ended up costing me 70, $76 to get two batteries replaced for two watches. Obviously, there's the pressure testing cost on that, but I think it was only about $20, which I thought was quite excessive. It was quite a lot of money to replace two watch batteries, given that watch batteries are not expensive, and the actual process is quite a quick process if you've got the equipment. Um, so what I thought I'd do was I'd actually get the equipment that I need, so the next time that my watch battery needs replacing, which will probably be in about a year or two, I can do it myself. Um, and it turns out there's basically two or three types of equipment that you're going to need. Um, and it really depends on the back of the watch. So if I show you, say, for example, uh, this watch here, you can see quite easily that it is just something where you can just get a very thin uh, screwdriver type piece of equipment and you can just shimmy that open. So that's a really straightforward one. To be honest, I've got a few watches. Uh, this is the only one that I've seen that has such a, a simple um a simple process of removing the back. Most of them tend to have something more along the lines of this, uh, where there are basically just, if you can see, there's one here, one here, and one here, all the way around. There's these little kind of um, lugs, I suppose, or these little kind of wells in the, in the metalwork where you can use a clamp. That's what I didn't have, and that's what I actually saw that the guy in the Mr. Minute that I went to did have. So I went online to see how much these things cost. It turns out less than $2. Um, yeah, and they look a little bit like this. Um, I'll take it out of the packet. It's pretty much, it's the same both ways. Both, can't see what the lens of my camera there. Pretty much the same um, on both sides. You've got two points here, which basically, when you turn this lever, they move inwards and outwards. And um, as I showed you on the back of this watch here, where you've got these little gaps, you basically would just put this between the two lugs that you want to actually attach it to, and then adjust it so these come a little bit closer together. Sorry, I've been a bit off camera there because I can't see the lens of the camera. And essentially what you do is you tighten it in these two, in these two gaps here, so let's say we're going to go with that one and that one. You, you clamp it between these two. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to twist it off in a circular motion. Now, while I'm doing this, it is a little bit tricky to do this. So I'm going to just try and quickly adjust it and then place it on top. I'm going to tell you why I thought this would be a better idea. As I said, when I went online, I actually found the cost of the batteries that I needed to replace. They were only um, $2. Well, yeah, about $2. There were some cheaper ones, but generally when it comes to watch batteries, I would try to always buy uh, Japanese made ones just because they last a lot longer. They're just, the Japanese are just really good at making batteries. Uh, if you buy cheaper batteries that come from China or Vietnam or places like that, they, or Malaysia actually is another country where they make quite a lot of them. They generally, um, they don't last as long. And obviously it's a fiddly process. You don't want to be doing it too often. I'm just gonna twist that off now as I'm talking. So it's just unscrewing. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it too often. So um, it pays to just pay literally a couple of cents more and uh, and get a battery that's good quality that you're not going to have to replace again very soon. So that's basically done. And with this particular watch, being the cheap piece of crap that it is, it says Hugo Boss. 
I'm pretty sure this is probably a knockoff, actually, although I bought it from a shop that I really didn't expect it to be a knockoff, but looking at the inside of this, it probably is a, a dodge pot cheap copy. Now, mind you, it is a Japanese movement, so maybe it's not. Um, yeah, that, that doesn't that doesn't look particularly quality, does it? Um, yeah, you just remove this bit of plastic here, pull out the battery. There's a little waterproof uh, seal. It's really important that you place that in correctly when you when you put it back later, and uh, and you replace your battery. Now, uh, in this instance, that is actually going to be a little bit more fiddly than I thought it would be. Hardly a precision tool. I'm going to use this little pair of scissors just to leave it under the plastic and pull that out. Probably just put it from here, and then that comes out. Just lifts off. And at that point, you just pull out your battery. One little thing that I was told about batteries, um, when you hold them, don't hold them so you've got the flat on the palm of your, uh, your, your fingers, because it will actually flatten the battery. It would lose all its charge. So I was told. Makes sense, I suppose. Um, so you just find a way of actually pulling the battery out, which is a little bit easier said than done. Be careful not to damage any of the housing around it. The other thing, I think with this one actually there is actually a little clip. I'm just going to push that back. Yeah, there is a little clip holding it in place. So that's just popped out. So yeah, that thing that I was saying about how you hold the batteries. Hold them. that way don't hold them like this because that's how you can lose the charge obviously this one's dead anyway so it doesn't make any difference um so yeah basically i don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be i've probably made it longer than it needs to be already um find yourself one of these they're literally just called watch replacement clamps uh battery replacement clamps um you can find them on ebay uh amazon they're around about $2 if you get them from China. You might need to wait a few weeks for it to turn up in the post. But they're super cheap, and that costs $2. A replacement battery, a Japanese-made one, is around about $2 as well. For $4, you can replace your own battery. It's it's not super hard. And, um, you know, for $4 versus 40 something dollars, I think, is um, is worth doing. And, you know, it's always handy to be able to, you know, fix your own, fix your own stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.